So I know when you first become pregnant, there's all these yeah. different options of changing bags and it's really difficult to decide, but um, I basically went for this one really because it's very versatile and there's lots of different um, compact, well, that you'll, you'll get why it's called Packapod, um, that's the brand, you'll get why it's called Packapod when I explain what it features. So I'll start off by showing you um, the overall design of the bag. So it's kind of like a stripy brown colour. I wanted to go for something that was quite gender neutral so my partner can also feel comfortable wearing it. I didn't want to go for anything like too garish or you know, pink with funny patterns. So it can be worn as a backpack which I find is absolutely essential um, for free, free pair of hands and when you're getting your baby in and out of the car, you need to you need your hat you need your hands free, and also when you're putting up the push chair stuff, just general stuff like that. It's great to. You're very chatty, <laughs> aren't you? Yes. Um. So it's great to have your hands free. It also converts as a over the shoulder strap as well, but I usually wear it as a backpack. And then we've also got on the back here, it comes with the stroller straps or push chair straps. Um, so that's really good as well. It's really handy. You can just clip it straight on there. We've got this um, like clip flap to make it nice and secure, but I, I personally feel it's not really necessary. It keeps it like secure in the fact that, you know, if you've got it on your back, no one's gonna see the zip or be able to access it. So that's, that's a good security feature. It's also got this front pocket here, which I normally put my phone in, my keys, my wallet, stuff like that. And then when you open the bag up, this is the main compartment. So in here, it's quite a big, if you can see, it's quite roomy. There's quite a lot, um, a large size there. You can get a lot in there. Um, but the good feature about Packapod is, so it comes with these two pods. So you have a cool bag with bottles in it, food as they get older. So I normally put like sandwiches in here if we're going out for the day, snacks, etc. And then you have your changing pod. So the changing pod is really handy because you can literally, say you're out somewhere and you don't have to lug the whole bag to um, a place that you change your baby, you can just take the pod with you. And um, it's dead easy. It's got everything inside it. So it has it all laid out for you. You can even completely unzip it so it's completely flat. It also comes with a little changing mat. So, it uh, just folds out like that. It's not massive, um, but it does the job. You can also wash this, stick it in the washing machine if it ever gets a bit dirty. Sometimes I just take one pod out if I feel like, oh, I'm only popping like down the road or I'm only popping to the shop. Um, I just take this pod with me just in case we have any little accidents. Because you know what happens when you don't take that stuff with you. Um, things happen. So it's got this compartment on the back with a little clip. So I usually put my car keys on there or a dummy, um, anything like that. I also keep the like cowpole and um, teething gel in there as well. So yeah, that's basically it. It's really simple. It's a simple but effective design. Um, I really like it. I've gotten really well with it. Um, it's lasted me a while now, so I've had it for about, well, 18 months. The only thing I will say is this is broken and I don't really know how. I feel like it might have been, my partner may have um, had difficulty opening it and was a little too rough, <laughs> maybe. Um, but yeah, so uh, all in all, I do really love it and I would recommend it. I'll link it down below where I got it from. I actually got it from an online store um, called Natural Baby Shower in the UK 
and they are really good they've got quite a lot of um sort of um it's higher end um baby stuff i suppose you know like your higher end more luxury brands link it down below and you can go and check them out but now i will go through what i actually keep in my changing bag so i'll start off with the changing pod i always keep um three three nappies in here you can't fit a huge amount of nappies in this <coughs> changing pod you have to kind of really shove them in so that would be um a, a small downside but i've got three nappies in there at the moment um i also keep a change of clothes just in case so these are like little H&M clothes. It was warm when we last went, so that's why we've got a t-shirt leggings. It's now getting pretty chilly. Um, obviously, nappy sacks, just a couple normally. Because um, George is a bit older now, the nappy changing situation isn't as frequent. And it's good because it's got like little labels of where you put things. And then I've got talc, and then a uh, diaper. Uh, nappy cream. So um, I actually use um, the Burt's Bees nappy cream and for me it's the best. Like it's better than Sudocrem. It lasts, even though it's really small, like it's a small tube, it lasts ages because you only need like the smallest like tiny little blob and it just goes so far. So I recommend that guys and it's great for nappy rash. So that's the changing bag. That's what I keep in there. Hello, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're climbing on mama. You want to get involved? Then we have the feeding pod. So it says feeder pod on the little label there. So inside here, I usually keep um, some snacks. Um, a little granola bar and his um, munchkin sippy cup slash snack cup. That's by munchkin. Again, I'll link that down below. Excuse me, don't throw things. We don't throw things, do we? Hey, do you want do you want a toy? Here you go. What's this? <gasps> wow. Wow. <gasps> So I usually keep toys like that in there. That's always in there. Then I have some teethers. So I've got this one, little wooden one. Uh, middle pocket, I usually keep the calcol, ambersol, and then again, a dummy or a clip on there. So that's basically it. That's what I keep in my bag. And to be honest, it's quite um, simple in terms of what I actually keep in there. But I think that's like, the best way to be really because you don't want to be fussing about with too many things too many bits and pieces and what i love about this bag is it keeps it all completely separate so it's really good for like you want, you want to know where everything is you can just grab it cons i would say about this bag is in particular if george has had like a little accident and what i find is is if it's a wet item, I have to put it in a nappy sack, otherwise it will just get everything else like damp. Price point, I can't remember, I think the price point was 60 pounds, I, I think. I'll have to double check that. I'll pop a little number up here when I find out. But yeah, they are quite pricey. They are like your sort of middle to high end of the changing bag. Obviously, you don't have to go for a brand like this. You don't have to. You can, they've got loads on Amazon. You can get all sorts of different brands. There's so many out there. I just wanted to give you an idea of what I went for and how it works for us. I think it's a really good design, um, a great change of bag, and I would fully recommend it to any new mums who are in the predicament of choosing a change of bag. If you enjoyed this little video, um, little review of Packer Pod. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Say bye bye.